Hello! Welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Lake. I'm bad, so you don't have to be. Today we continue our 12 days of unboxing. I think we're over halfway done. This is gonna count as one, not two. Got a Aquatica and Aquatica Cold Waters. One of the expansions. So we've got Simple Diving Deep Strategies, that's what it says. So let's get to it. <laughs> How's everybody's Christmas been? Or holiday, or... Whichever you decide to celebrate. This is a Dice Tower's Essential. This one right there. All right, let's see. So, I have seen this played. I do like the colors. Very pretty board. I like the blue. Tof always has to be the blue player. There we go. Nice thick book. Oh, lots of descriptions on how to play. I don't think this is a... Let's see, this rule book is 31 pages long. This game is by Cosmos Drone Games. A game by Ivan Tozorski. I'm sure I did not pronounce that correctly. Sorry, Ivan. Got a few colored shits here. And we have our player boards. So this is kind of cool. So I don't know if you, how well you can see this, but it is dual layered. Because one of the things you do with this game is you're, as you're diving deeper and going up and down, you're moving your cards up and down. So we've got four player boards. Huh. We have some nice tokens here. I don't even think this is the deluxe edition. They're like manta rays, and they're actually plastic, and they've got a little bit of weight to them, which is kind of nice. Got blue, orange, green, orange, more orange. And these are a lot of purple. Kind of see these. Pretty thick. Like I said, they've got, they have some weight to them. And then we have a few cards. Probably not going to open all of these cards on camera. And if you're watching this, probably doing it to be nice. I do like the artwork on them. Not realistic, but it's not quite comic book either. Almost reminds me of some of the Magic the Gathering cards that you might have seen in the water. Water deck. So that is what we have. And this. On to the expansion. What is in there? Is it more cardboard? Is it more plastic? Who knows? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> I'm sure I was gonna say it myself. Get knocked over in a minute. More of these. Keep this in the box. Looks like we have another player board. Ah, this helps you go to five people, which is nice. Starting to get game groups or usually three or four people show up, but lately we've had like five and six show up. Got a new board. And I don't know what the board does. We have this. Rule book. We have some more mantas, and these are white. 
kind of like the white. The white, it almost makes it feel deluxe, even though it's not a deluxe edition. Something about having heavier, heavier chits or heavier coins, right? Where you have these in play. It's nice. And then we have some more cards. Big bad walrus. This looks like the most evil walrus I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Alright. Look at that. That's not a nice looking walrus. Definitely not from Disney. And then we have the Mesmerizer. Colossal Squid. Squids and octopus. Extremely smart. Huh. These are definitely the bad guys. Killer whale. We have hungry, hungry Arctic piranha. I'm not aware of there being Arctic piranha. I know they're Amazon piranhas. My dad got me one of those when I was a kid because he went down to Brazil for work, bought it up and it was stuffed in a thing. As a young child, giving you a stuffed piranha with big nasty teeth, not a good idea. It's the things that nightmares are made out of. Little tip. Don't get your young kids scary looking animals. Just say no. Uh, Royal penguins. Look at all these cards. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing this and giving you a first impression on this and then being able to review it. I know there's a lot out there, but maybe you'll enjoy ours better. Or maybe you'll find ours before you find everybody else's. Who knows? Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoy this as much as I do. It's just kind of fun to sit and talk to you and play games and talk about games. See you later.